I know. It doesn't have anything to do with barbecue, technically. But some of the stuff that I might grow, we could use in barbecue. So today, I'm gonna to be building a eight bucket, two tier container garden stand. Yes, that's a lot to say. No, it shouldn't be very hard. Today I'm gonna to be using treated two by fours and I'm gonna show you how to get it done for less than $100. Hey yo, this is Dash. Get ready. All right, so first things first, you're gonna need supplies. So here we go. You're going to, the supplies you're gonna need, and these are hopefully some things that you have around your house already. You're gonna need a miter saw, a drill, some screws, and some two by fours. Now I went out and I purchased nine, the instructions said nine two by fours, I bought 10, just in case I mess up a cut or something like that. I always suggest you buy a little bit more. And I bought some screws. Now I bought regular decking screws, ones that were, were, were able to be used for pressure treated. And I got ones that had a Phillips head, just so I wouldn't have to worry about using any sort of special tools and getting buying anything new, all right? Now, I'm gonna go ahead and put the cut list up on the screen. Now, with that being said, I need to go ahead and get my cuts started. Get all of my cuts laid out, then I will move us to where I'm gonna actually be assembling this, and then I'll put it all together. Alright guys, so now that we have the hard part of the cut done, we got the easy part of putting it all together. So there are my pieces, 55 inches, 52 inches, 31 inches, 25 and a half, 19 and 12 inches respectively. So you have all your cuts and everything should be good. Remember uh, the extra scrap piece can and could possibly come in handy. Like I made a mistake and cut two pieces at 22 and a half inches and not 25 inches. 25 and a half inches. So double check your measurements and your cuts. So what this is gonna be is the, uh, I guess the, if you're looking at it, the left side of the stand. One side done, so this is gonna be the left side if you're looking at it. And now one thing to keep in mind is that because these are going together, they're gonna be book, bookends basically, you don't, you wanna make sure that you build a mirror of this so when it sits on the opposite side, 
they will be uh, the same. All right, so the next piece of the puzzle, we're gonna start putting this whole thing together. So that's where we're gonna use the 55 inch pieces and we're just gonna span across from one side to the other. So because I'm working by myself right now, my son got lost, I'm gonna start this one edge on this one side and only use one screw so I still have a pivot to get the other side set up and then I will go ahead and, and use it to hold itself up and keep going from there. All right guys, so this is after the video, but I'm gonna put it in the middle of the video. If you guys notice, when I put this together, I did have some splitting on some of the edges. So if, you, if you're if you gonna do this, I'd highly recommend that you pre-drill your holes for your screws, only so you don't have to worry about the splitting like I had. Now it's not that bad, but I do have some splitting on a few different pieces. So I figured I would warn you before you did this and before you finished so hopefully I'll put this in the middle of the video where this will be a pretty much a pro tip after the after all right so here we have it finished product unfortunately I hope I hope that the middle portion of this me getting this together was was successful if it wasn't I'll just kind of recap really quickly the side pieces you saw me get them together the 55 inch pieces kind of explain themselves. The 52 inch piece. The, uh, I did use an entire box, an entire box of 10 and a half or 10 by two and a half screws. Uh, this was 70 of them and I used exactly 70 screws. Now, of course, when you put the 55 inch pieces, on you probably don't have to put four on each corner but i did because i wanted to tie in to this piece as to the horizontal piece as well as the vertical piece on all of the corners on all of it attached i can tell you this is pretty stout it's pretty sturdy at this point my buckets they fit in here and There you have it. So hopefully you found this helpful. It took about two hours and I see this is pretty easy. As long as you have the miter saw, that was pretty much the biggest pick, biggest ticket item for this whole entire build. And of course a drill, so that you don't have to sit and try to do this by hand. But it's turned out really well. Actually, I'm gonna put it up against this fence and then my wife can do the, the other part, all right?